Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. It has been a really long time since I've been on camera and filming and I missed you guys so much. I missed filming, I miss being on my YouTube channel. And so I thought that we could kind of catch up, talk about the last month and also go through my recent empties together because those are some of my favorite videos to watch and to film. If you are an OG and you watch my videos and you have been watching them every week, I just wanted to say I'm so sorry for being being absent recently. A lot has gone down and I've talked about it on my Instagram and my TikTok channels which are at the Rudy Berry but essentially I went on my Peach and Lily brand trip which you guys uh, saw in a vlog and then when I came home I went on vacation with my extended family my husband's family to Florida so while I was there I didn't post but I was fully planning on posting once I got back filming during that week and then going to LA filming while I was there and posting that and what ended up happening was that I got back from my trip with my family and I filmed the about face video that went up last week and the next day I had COVID. My husband had it a day before me so I kind of knew it was going to happen but I was really 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 sick. I got super sick for like I want to say five days I was bedridden. I missed my LA trip which ended up being a good thing because it would have really been bad if I was there and tested positive while I was there and had to stay in hotel. Um, I had you know my own house that I got Got to stay in but Reed was only sick for like one day of course and I felt horrible I had like a hundred and two degree fever horrible body aches it was just really bad and so during that week I did not film anything on Instagram on TikTok on YouTube nothing for basically an entire week which has now set me back in my schedule with you guys and then I planned on filming while I was in LA so that I could go up this past week, which was the 4th of July weekend. And I was in Chicago with my husband for his 30th birthday. We ended up going to Alinea, which is one of the nicest restaurants literally in the entire world. So while I was there, I didn't film anything because I was with his family. So essentially I've been traveling and because I had COVID, it really messed my entire schedule up. I was not able to sit down and talk like this. I don't know if you can hear, but I am still congested. I am still coughing up nasty mucus and it has been like almost two weeks since then. So I'm still not even back at 100% yet which is why I'm in my like big chair because I just wanted to relax while filming this with you guys and talk about empties and talk about what's coming up on the channel and just kind of get back into the swing of things. So if you are new here thank you for stopping by. My name is Rudy and we talk about skincare, makeup, mental health, vlogging. We do a little bit of fashion and hauls and things like that. I have an obsession with strawberries and berries because my last name is Berry. I would love for you to subscribe. We are absolutely getting back into regular uploads. YouTube is my favorite place to film and um, we're back, baby. Don't worry about that. Can we talk about this freaking blanket? How cute is this? I got it on Amazon and it is so soft. I can link it down below if you would like. Also, my husband is in the next room and I'm gonna need him to come in and talk about a few of these things because I'll, some of these empties are his. Okay, so first up is the Exotic Pulp Skin Brightening Serum Body Wash from Salt Air. Salt Air. Salt Air. I didn't know this when I got these, but this is, the founder's name is Iskra and she is a body positivity model. You've probably seen her online. I think she works with American Eagle the most. But anyways, this is her body care line. They have body washes, they have body lotions, and then I think they have deodorants as well. Yes, they have deodorants, which we will talk about at a later date because I actually have a fail from this brand as a deodorant. But speaking on the body washes, these are amazing. They smell divine you guys Ugh, absolutely like the most beautiful citrus summery scent i have ever smelled so this one is in the scent exotic pulp <clears throat> but they have other scents that are just as good so santal bloom which is more of like um like a sandalwood scent island orchid i also have it kind of smells lavendery laguna which is more of like a men's scent and then lush greens is so good lush greens and exotic pulp are my two favorites i just prefer like brighter scents when it comes to body care i feel like if you get too sweet and it mixes in with your bo it just like it's not there, it's not good. This one is amazing. We are currently on our second bottle. It took us a really long time to go through this one. I will also say each of them have their own sort of like um, mix of ingredients that does something for the skin. So this one has passion fruit oil, camu camel, camu camu, and niacinamide. So it's supposed to help brighten the skin. So each of them kind of do their own thing, but none of them have been harsh on my skin. I feel like I can use it every time I'm in the shower. I haven't been using it recently because of my rash 
gosh, oh, that's something else I wanted to talk to you about. So, <laughs> buckle up. So you know how I had mentioned a few weeks ago or a month ago that I was diagnosed with pityriasis rosea and it was really bothering me and it was like all over my sides and I went to the dermatologist for it. Well, it just wasn't going away. And my dermatologist, like I mentioned to you in the past, she's not really emotional. She doesn't really care about how you feel about things. And so I kept calling her being like, it's still here. It's only supposed to be around for a couple months and it's been half a year. Like, I just don't know. And she just kept telling me, put steroids on it, put steroids on it, which you guys know I don't really like doing. So I went to my regular doctor and asked for a second opinion. She hooked me up with a different dermatologist. I went into this dermatologist, immediately got a biopsy and it came back that it is something called lichen planus pigmentosis inversus. I can't make this shit up, you guys. It is a rare disease. It's a rare skin condition. And um, it's just like, I don't know how she thought that this might be it, but she did based on how the scarring looks on my skin. I don't wanna get too far into it because we're already 10 minutes into the video. And I've only talked about one thing, but I did wanna update you that I do have a rare disease. I'm a rare beauty, um, which I turned 29 over these past couple weeks as well. And my best friend got me a cake that said a rare beauty on it, which I thought was so funny. Um, basically right now what we're doing is working on getting rid of the actual rash. So I use steroid treatment and now I'm using a non-steroidal eczema cream to try and help with the flaring. And then over time we'll figure out if that doesn't work, I might have to do injections and then we have to focus on the hyperpigmentation that's been left behind. So it's going to be a process. If you have questions on it, let me know. It's not really something I think you need to worry about because it is a rare disease. <laughs> Are we shocked? Are we shocked? No. Moving on. I can't believe I went through this entire thing, but I surely did. This is the Milkshake Hyaluronic Acid and Squalene Facial Mist Toner from Beekman 1802. I loved this, but I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it. So this was a bi-phase toner, and I think I talked about it in a favorites video previously, but essentially it had a layer of like squalene oil and then hyaluronic acid mist underneath, and you would shake it up, and it would kind of give you an even layer of both. So it was giving you hydrating, and it was locking it in. This was so so nice. The mist is insane. Like I might keep the bottle because the mist was so nice. But the only thing I didn't like about this is that this is a humongous bottle. It's like the size of my head. So it took up so much room in my skincare caddy. And towards the end, it was like pretty much all of the oil and not the toner. So I loved it. I think I might repurchase it. However, I just wish it was in a different packaging, but it is really, really nice and it felt so good on the skin. Next up is a hair care product. This is the hydrating conditioner from Moroccan oil. I don't think I've gone through the shampoo yet because my husband is a psychopath and he uses an insane amount of product when he washes his hair. He has an inch of hair and he uses two to three times more than I use. I don't know what's wrong with him, but I told him that he could use this product and so he used the crap out of it and now it's gone <laughs> but the hydrating line from moroccan oil their shampoo and conditioner are amazing if you like moroccan oil then you already probably know how good these are you can get this at sephora and maybe ulta i'm not sure but you know it has that classic moroccan oil scent some people really love it some people hate it i'm somewhere in between like i don't think it's the best scent in the world but it's not horrible these are color safe they leave your hair really really soft they're just amazing they are expensive but if you are willing to put in the money behind your hair especially if you color treat it this one's really good. I, I still like to use my crown affair a little bit more than that one, but I would use them interchangeably because I like them both that much. I feel like I've gone through two of these now, which is kind of crazy because these cleansers are huge. This is the La Roche-Posay Tellurian Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. This is the best hydrating cleanser on the market. It's better than CeraVe. It's better than any other drugstore brand or high-end brand that you can find. This cleanser is absolutely beautiful. It doesn't foam up on the skin, but it also doesn't leave like that layer that sometimes hydrating cleansers can feel. It doesn't feel slippery. It's just like helps get some of the dirt and grime off of your skin. I especially like to use this in the mornings. It's amazing and it's a huge bottle. I think, yeah, 13 ounces in here. So it's gonna take you a while to go through this. Trust me if you're looking for a nice morning cleanse or a gentle cleanser to go along with your acne care you have got to try the Tolarian hydrating gentle cleanser it's so good my husband also loves this okay i went through three three body lotions starting with the josie marin argan apothecary this is the intensive daily repair body butter this is the only lotion that is approved by the national eczema association in josie marin's line 
It's also a very nice glass bottle, which I like, but um, you know, you just have to be very careful with it. I love Josie Marin's body products, I body products. I love her body lotions. I actually prefer her whipped argan body butter over this one, but if you have incredibly sensitive skin and your skin can't handle that, there is an unscented version, by the way, which is what I use, which I still like more than this one. This one is much thicker, much, much thicker. It feels more like a really thick cream, even thicker than the CeraVe moisturizing cream. This is really, really nice though, especially for super dry legs and arms. It is expensive. I think you could get away with using the CeraVe moisturizing cream instead of this, but if you like Josie Marin and you're kind of like in her zone and you like her products and you have skin condition, I would recommend it. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> okay, so my husband has two empties in here that I'm gonna let him speak on that he used this month. And um, I think that he'll actually also be, you know our dog's gonna wanna come in. He's also gonna help me talk about one of these products in a video coming up soon because he is so addicted to it. Take a seat, sir. Are you gonna say hey, everyone? Hey, everyone. So good to be here <laughs> on the Rudy Berry's channel. Hello <laughs> to the Berry Patch. I'm Reed Berry. This is the Hero Force Shield. This Just hold it still for a sec. Harder to do than it looks. Force Shield, SPF 30. This is probably the fourth one that I've gone through. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I was completely hoodwinked by my wife. I thought that this was moisturizer because she just said, here's your moisturizer, your like AM moisturizer. I used to use CeraVe AM, but didn't use SPF. So she put this in front of me, told me it was moisturizer. I started using it. I went through two of them, looked at it and realized it said sunscreen. And I was like, this is sunscreen, not moisturizer. <laughs> So I love it. I mean, in terms of the feel, it feel it doesn't feel like an SPF. It feels like it's just a great lightweight moisturizer. I like that it's got the green tint because mm -hmm. I tend towards red irritated skin. So this is great, especially when we were at the beach and I was using it and maybe had like the tiniest baby burn. Throw this on in the morning, calms you down, gives me coverage for the day. He loves it. Love it. This is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream with high... Hyaluronic, hi, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid <laughs> and peptide complex. Love um, so this was used as my PM moisturizer. I ran out of whatever I was using before this. Uh, Rudy put this one in front of me. Like it, don't love it. I find it to be a little bit thick. Like it's so creamy. Like, I don't know, it was a little bit much for me. I went through it because I'm that kind of guy. I'm just gonna use it up. I wouldn't get it again. But it wasn't bad. 6.5 out of 10. 7 out of 10? If you have dry skin, I think you'd like it. We have oily skin. Yeah, that's true. It was very, it's just, it's very thick and I'm an oily guy, so I need something light. But, you know, I didn't hate it. Didn't love it. Wouldn't buy it again. You didn't buy it. Thank you, honey. My pleasure. Bye, everybody. What a goofball. Okay. The other two body lotions that I went through were both a one, two, three, say it with me, CeraVe moisturizing. Great. I have yet to find a body lotion that works better for me than this this body lotion. So uh, this is the one that I take when I'm traveling, which I just told you I had been traveling a lot recently. It's eight ounces, so you have to check it. I don't think they make anything smaller than this. They might, I need to look. So if you're checking a bag, this is the best option. If not, it kind of sucks because you can't find anything. But this is my big kahuna I use at home. This is 16 ounces. I go through this within two or three months, as you can see from our empties video. Amazing for eczema, amazing for dry body skin. If you have very dry face skin, you can use this on your face as well. It's fragrance free. Like I have talked about this so, so, so much. CeraVe, sponsor my ass. Sponsor my ass. Okay, some sunscreens. Two from Neutrogena, and I have another two of these that are almost gone as well. The Hydro Boost Water Gel Lotion and the Invisible Daily Defense Lotion. These are, in my opinion, Neutrogena's best body sunscreens. I really, really loved their spray sunscreens. However, with the whole benzene situation that happened, if you aren't aware, they um, had some cancer carcinogens in them, some cancer-causing carcinogens in their spray sunscreens, but it wasn't just them. It was like so many brands across the board. So after I I threw those away I ended up getting these and I love them and it's funny because when I was just in Chicago with my extended family my mother-in-law had the uh, ultra sheer or the ultra dry I'll put it in and it's also a chemical sunscreen but I just find that these from Neutrogena are so much more elegant and they spread onto the skin so much easier so they are very similar in formulation they're both SPF 30 one is blue and one is pink <laughs> 
They're both oxybenzone free. They have the exact same active ingredients. Like I'm looking at the back. I mean, these might as well be the same sunscreen if you ask me. They're gorgeous. This one also comes in a 60. So if you're looking for that, I would check out the Invisible Daily Defense Lotion. They're both awesome. And I have like three of these that I use throughout the summer. I can't believe I actually went through these and I feel like I'm definitely going to repurchase. These lasted me so long. This is the Pixie Detoxify Depuffing Eye Patches. These are by far my favorite eye patches ever. Like I love these so much. I use them all the time. I use these on my wedding day in the morning. Like these are gorgeous. So these specifically the Detoxify have caffeine in them and hyaluronic acid, which is why I like them so much. They stay on the eye. They have a really nice shape. The goo is not like offensive smelling. In fact, it's fragrance free, which is kind of hard to find in an eye patch situation. I do have a few others that I've been sent from different brands, but I just, I almost don't even want to open them because I just want to buy another one of these because I love them so much. I obviously like using the reusable ones that I have from Dew, but sometimes I want that cooling sensation. And because those are made from silicone, even when I put them in the fridge or the freezer, they don't really give me that feeling like these do. So I know, I know, don't kill me, but I really like these. Oh my gosh, another update I forgot to tell you. So on my birthday, we went out to dinner, but during the day, I went and got two new tattoos. Surprise, mom. I don't think I've told my mom yet. <laughs> so I got a little strawberry and a cowboy hat. There's my little strawberry for berries, and there's my little cowboy hat. So cute. So if you see that, that's what it is. I feel like at this point now, I've told you everything that's happened. COVID, traveling, birthday tattoos, rare disease. Yep, 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 chuck, chuck, chuck. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. Um, only one other hair product, and you can guess what it is. It's Batiste. Batiste. Uh, bare, barely scented, it's the best one because the scents are very strong on Batiste's dry shampoos. So I like to have the option for the bare ones. They're not as strong, but they still have like the grit and texture that regular Batiste gives you, but it also makes your hair feel clean. I feel like I use different dry shampoos for different reasons and Batiste is the best dry shampoo to use if you wanna keep your hair sort of straight like this and make it look clean. But if I want something more textured, I might go for a different kind. So this is like the best everyday dry shampoo that exists and it is the cheapest as well. There's always one of these in my empties, always. I think this was my first rescue balm ever from Hero and I, I think it was time for it to be done. It was kind of like gritty by the time I was done with it. But essentially the Rescue Balm from Hero Cosmetics, if you don't know what it is, it is a post blemish recovery cream is what they call it. It's basically a very thick concentrated balm that you put on your skin after a pimple has broken and is starting to heal. And it helps the skin from scarring by keeping it really hydrated and soothed. It's amazing. They make a large version of this now, which I use around my mouth. I used it on my tattoos while they were healing and I will use it on dry patches or healing pimples. You don't wanna put it on the pimple while it's still a whitehead, but after that, this is amazing. And if you have dry skin, I know people who use this as a moisturizer. So just, you gotta try it. At least try out the mini size. They also have a green color corrector of this product, which I have talked about before. You gotta try it. My husband loves it. This is perhaps the oldest lip chapstick I've ever used and also perhaps the only chapstick I've ever actually gone through. This is the Burt's Bees Ultra Conditioning Moisturizing Lip Balm. This stuff is incredibly moisturizing. This was my car chapstick, which is pretty much the worst choice that you can have for a car chapstick to be an ultra conditioning rich in butters and oils <laughs> chapstick in your car. But this is so hydrating and so like oily that you could use it as like a lip gloss alternative. I've said that before too. Like if you had a matte lipstick and you wanted something on to kind of like gloss it up a little bit, but you don't like the feel of lip gloss, you could buy this Burt's Bees and use it in the place of a lip gloss and get that same look without the feel of a lip gloss. It's really, really nice. I don't know if I'll repurchase it because I have like so many chapsticks that I need to go through. Pimple patches are like my DNA. I think I am a pimple patch. When I have a kid, it will be a pimple patch. This is the master patch from uh, CauseRx. These are in oval shaped. I don't know why. I mean, it, the shape was fine. It didn't really add or take away from it. These are just regular hydrocolloid patches similar to the Mighty Patch from Hero Cosmetics. Like, as long as they're a hydrocolloid patch and they're small, I think that they're good. These are great. If you like CauseRx, you can also find these on Amazon. And if for some reason your pimples come out in ovals, 
you might want to try this one. Okay, the last thing, and this is probably like an amalgamation of all of the sponges that I've used in the past month. This is the Kaja Heart Sponge. Like it's their take on the Beauty Blender. This sponge sucks. This sponge is hard as a rock. It doesn't really get bigger. It's a weird shape. Like it doesn't get in the crevices of your skin. No. I don't like it, I don't recommend it. The best sponge out there that I said in my last favorites video is the biodegradable sponge from EcoTools. It is so damn good. I promise you will love it. It's inexpensive. You can even get it at the damn grocery store. Like just pick it up next time. It's in a purple case. Skip the high-end ones, okay? No, bye-bye. Okay, tell me what's been going on with you down below because I obviously need updates from you as well. I miss you, I love you, I'm back bitches. I think my next video is going to be a flops video instead of faves and flops because I have like six or seven flops from June alone. I think including that sponge TBH with you. I want to do a review for you guys on road skincare. I got the PR package and spoiler alert, it's amazing. I think you would absolutely love it, but we'll talk about it. Let me know down below what else you guys are looking for in terms of videos this upcoming month. I'm going to do a vlog, the usual. We're just getting back into the routine and I will see you guys in the next video really soon.